Right, this is um, what I'm going to do to make the handle. It's cherry wood. First, I'm going to cut it uh, cut it down to the width of the bow, which is about uh, one and uh, it's one and a half inches plus a uh, it's a sixteenth or thirty second. I'll double check before I cut, and uh, and then I'm just going to sand down it to this curve which is, uh, it's actually the curve of the form to what it was originally. It's not what the actual bow came out with, but I'm just choosing to do it to that. I don't really have a good reason, so I'm just gonna try it. It'll just mean I'll have to really clamp the bow back to it. And um, we'll see what happens. Right, and now we have a uh, the handle. It's so the grain is parallel to the grain of the actual the bigger part so fits in it's about a 30 second over which will, I think that's actually maybe a little preferable so it still gives me a little a little space to uh, sand it down and and shape it and so we're sort of now we're just gonna sand it down to the curve all right so I've cut this down to the shape and now I've clamped on little belt sander and this is to keep it off so I'm just gonna sand it down to hopefully the right shape and we'll see if it works right so I did the first one wrong I uh, actually shaved it down on the off cut from whenever this was one whole piece of wood because there were markings on it as well so I just got a little confused but it actually turned out okay because I was able to put this against the uh, the whole bow and see how what the difference was between what the form curve was to what the bow's curve was and you know uh, I'm doing it again with the real piece and I've actually just remarked it to the curvature of the bow so I shouldn't have to clamp as much and as hard so uh, the the glue that I'm going to be using uh, should be able to cure a little better so uh, it's a good test run right so here it is now, uh, that's it's just shadow really, but um, that's what we're looking at. I'm going to call that close enough, and I'm going to glue it. Okay. Right, so we've clamped it. All we used was uh, this stuff. What do we got? Original super glue delayed set epoxy. I think like the sheer the sheer weight is up to 2,000 pounds on steel, 1,200 on aluminum. I don't know what it is on wood, and um, it's not even like the pressure won't be from sheer weight. It'll just be from uh, like I don't know tearing it off. It won't be like a sheer, but that's what we have so far. So in all. We've got the bow and the handle.